Hey, New Life. My name is Tamara Watson. I am the Kid Life Pastor in Conway. And today I just wanted to talk about how do we teach the next generation about Jesus? How do we keep pointing them to Jesus? I've been reading a good bit of statistics lately that are talk that are showing how kids are not believing that the whole Bible is true. Even parents and family members are maybe even saying that. But the thing is, we have a job as believers in the body of Christ to raise up the next generation. And we know the enemy is after them because they're going to be powerful and anointed and used by God. So I can't wait to see what God does with them. But we got to do our part. But first of all, let's read Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. It says, Love the Lord God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strengths. These commandments I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. And so as we think about when you're sitting at home, when you're walking on the road, so what does that practically look like? How can we um, teach kids about Jesus practically? Really, it's not like necessarily sitting down every night at dinner or and saying, let's have a Bible study, where I think that's very good. But some small first steps, if you're not doing anything, is just start some conversations. Where did you see God? What did God do to, for you today? When you're dropping them off at school, play a... I, we do something with our kids that you get to pick the song that you want on the way to school. And we try to choose a Jesus song and something that would get us going about Jesus. And sometimes it's a song that they've heard in Kid Life or whatever. And we sing that as we're going to school. And then I just pray a blessing prayer over them. You're the head and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. You are going to be a light in this dark world and just declaring the goodness of God over our kids. And those are just things that we can teach them about who they are in Christ, their identity in Christ. But also we can just start conversations of when you see um, moments that they mess up and, and describing what sin is, not in a condemning, shameful way, but in a teaching way. Our kids aren't going to know. You know, a lot of times people are like, I bring my kids to Kid Life and I want you to teach them all about Jesus. Well, guess what, guys? I don't have your kids. No Kid Life pastor has your kids more than maybe three hours a week. We can't teach them everything they know about Jesus. And we're only going to have them for a few years. So we got to teach them together. So the other thing that we could do is if you're like, my kids are grown or I don't have kids, you can impact the next generation where you are. You can impact them by serving. I bet no matter what campus you're at, if you reach out to any of your kids ministry pastors, you're going to find out mm, they need some help. Most of us could give you a list of, I need help in the tech booth. I can need help with small group leaders. I can need help with this. But y'all, something really cool is happening. And we have VBS coming up and we definitely need help with that. So check out with your campus how you can get involved, how you can serve there. But even more than just serving within the house, y'all, I just want to express the, how do we reach this next generation when we're out in public? Well, first of all, I want to challenge you with this belief. Do you believe in the next generation or when you see them, do you think, oh, it's just kids and they're annoying? Or do you say, when you see them, you say, man, God is going to use them really big time. And you speak life on them and you believe in them, even if they're not living up to it in this moment. You know what I mean? Sometimes kids aren't really making the best choices. And so we get to uh, come along them and we get beside them and we get to mentor them. So I want to encourage you, if you aren't mentoring somebody right now in your life that is, um, in this next generation, and mentoring could look like you're serving in a kid's ministry. It could look like you're helping in the school or it could look like you're 
playing catch with a neighbor or something. But y'all, there are so many ways that we can tell them about Jesus. And first of all, it just becomes with a relationship that we gain with that person, that child, that student. And then we just start pointing them to Jesus more and more. And then we get to pray with them and we get to offer them some scripture and what does God's word say about this? Let's not just offer our opinion, but let's offer them God's word, the meat that they can eat. So we really uh, believe at New Life Church that the next generation is important. We believe that God is raising up a generation that's going to be world changers, and I can't wait to see what they do. And we would love for you to be partnering with us in that.